Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one website platform to build a brand, grow your online presence, and launch your passion project. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Alrighty folks, so today we're going to be doing an entire month of unboxing in one video because <laughs> it's been like a little bit of a rough month or two for me and I haven't done a ton of unboxing. So we've stacked up, we've accumulated a few boxes here in October, and y'all might be wondering, hey, I don't remember you doing one of these videos for September, but also, like, we didn't do a lot of unboxing then either. Now, I'm here to tell you, we don't talk about the September unboxing. <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> Actually, just kidding. We do, because I overshare about everything. I just tried to film that video, okay? I just tried to film that. I know it's the end of October, though, but I, but I was going to do the September unboxing of all the accumulated boxes from last month, so, like, that, I, ju I just tried to film that, and I got a full, like, hour in to unboxing. So many boxes done and then my brand new camera died and deleted all of the footage So I'm back on old trusty dusty here seven years strong should have never abandoned you and after uh, a solid little bit of having a breakdown <laughs> we're, we're back at it in September. We're just it shall just be erased from memory doesn't it doesn't exist wake me up when what month ends? Not September, because that's not a plan. that's not a thing that exists. Okie dokie, small little rant over. Now it is time to get on into the unboxing of all of these lovely October boxes. So let's just go ahead here on the top, a little color pop box. That could be fun. Oh, I'm actually really excited about this. This is incredibly nostalgic for me. Okay, it's a ColourPop collaboration with Frosty the Snowman. And not just any Frosty the Snowman. I give this one. This is the Frosty from my childhood. I have seen all of these Christmas movies, these cartoon uh, older Christmas movies, 1,000 million billion times. And it's just, oh, I'm, I'm actually really excited. How adorable. Here's a little beauty blender. Oh, it's color changing. I've never seen that before in a beauty blender. I like using a little hat. That's absolutely adorable. I wonder if it changes with hot or cold. Nothing. Maybe just water? It does say to wet it with warm water, so I'm guessing that's when the color changing happens. <sighs> I was just trying to put a little drop of lemon water on it. <laughs> it's all down my sleeve now. I don't know if this is the color changing they're talking about. It kind of just looks like something that was lighter getting wet. Regardless, uh, precious, adorable. We have two little sets. It looks like we have a lip pencil and a lipstick in these. Ooh, very pretty looking shades, like a nice kind of paler pink and then a very pretty berry. Okay, well that doesn't look anything like that. Maybe it looks like the lipstick. Yeah, only a little bit. They have this little hat and stuff embossed into the lipstick. That's actually a really pretty color. This one I think is in the shade Happy Jolly Fun and then the other one is in Snow Much Fun. And then here is the other little set. A very pretty berry color. I'm a sucker for these collaborations. I really am. I just love all like, the references and the adorable packaging. We have a little Jelly Much eyeshadow duo. This is Freezen and Made of Snow. Ooh, those are very fun and shiny. We have like a lilac -y purple. Oh my goodness, lilac -y purple and then like a nice frosty blue. Oh my gosh, there's still so much in here. That's so cute. He's like sticking off the side of the box. Precious packaging. Andy Kane lip mask and scrub duo. I don't think I've ever tried a lip mask or lip scrub from ColourPop. Ooh, it smells like peppermint. Mmm. Happy, 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 happy. Why am I not computing? Oh, heavens to Betsy. There we go. <laughs> I was like, it's curious they're not going in. We have three So Juicy Plumping Gloss Bombs. Those sound really nice. Ooh, I might really like these. I'm liking these colors. We have Feeling Like Frosty, All Melted, and Frozen. I think I, think I really like these two. These look super pretty. There are two Super Shock highlighters in here. And the shade Winter Wonderland and Icicle Spree. Oh my gosh. The reflexes of a sloth. That's real pretty. I like how it's all swirly twirly in there. I've seen this movie like a million times. Wasn't there like an evil guy trying to steal Frosty's hat and that's what gave him his power, like brought him to life? And doesn't he like melt at the end and it's like the children are sad? Something like that. And the last thing we have in here is a little palette. How precious. Oh, is it gonna be snowflake shaped? That probably wouldn't be very practical. Yeah, I didn't think so. But they are very snowy, very icy looking shades in here. Very pretty. Winter Wonderland-esque. 1969. Is that when that movie came out? Or did they put them on a train and send them to the North Pole? I gotta watch this movie again. <laughs> I've seen it so many times and I can't, I can't remember nothing. For some reason besides happy, hop, hop. 
I didn't even get that right. It's thumpity thump thump. Hoppity hop hop. What, what are you thinking? Alrighty, well that was adorable. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on here to the ZC subscription. Less adorable ZC. I had to do one of the worst tasks you could probably ever ask me to do the other day. And I had to go in and manually change all of my addresses and all of my subscriptions. <laughs> It was so bad. Not only did I not remember passwords, emails, anything. Some of them I don't even have like an account for. I don't even know how I received this box. I know I pay for it. I can see it come out of my bank account. It, it, it arrives to me at my home. <laughs> I don't have an account that I could go in and like unsubscribe from it. As I was doing that, I finally logged into my ZC account and I found out that um, there's several months that they have charged me and just not send me a box. And I just didn't know. <laughs> count your days, ZC, count your days. And of course there are only four items in here even though there are supposed to be five because I always only get four items. That's my actual name, shocking. <laughs> Usually it's sent to Ale Andrea. <laughs> Let's go for the first item here. This is an extra smooth long wear matte finish eyeliner. I guess you could technically count this little guy as a fifth item but it was like in the same little baggie oh very purpley is this a lip liner or an eyeliner did i even read that part this is a matte lip pencil but it's a very purpley shade it's kind of like um just get pale purple yeah okie dokie then we have another is this the same daggone brush that they send us all the time like i said zc count your days it's a tiny little brush a nice little blending brush and then we have some palace identity stuff which Granted, has gorgeous, beautiful, stunning packaging. <laughs> so we get the same things time and time and time again, which, yup, we have another dragon lipstick. Oh, deep neutral. Okay, I think that might be a different shade. We usually get like a red shade every single time. I might have broken it just a tiny bit, my bad. We should stick that back on there, okie dokie. It's a little over the top, it's a little extreme, but at least it's fun. Ooh, we definitely have not received this shade before. It's like a super chocolatey shade that's really pretty. As always, it has the really nice kind of engraving into the lipstick. Like, I, I think it's fun getting these lipsticks, but we do get them all the time. And I know Palace Identity has more stuff, so I would love to see like a larger selection of items from them. This might be different, I don't know. Oh, it's a Blossom blush. That does sound pretty familiar, but let's go ahead and see. A little velvety bag. I do believe it's gonna be one of the little like time turnery pocket watch <laughs> looking things. And yes, it is. And it's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. Oh, like look how pretty the inside is. It's just, it's a really, really pretty blush. There's this little dangly bit that's really nice. I would just love to see Get more of the, the beauty of the Palace Identity line. However, I don't know if that's gonna be happening because I, I did actually cancel my ZC subscription and I think I might like dig into the, the brand, the company, just a little bit. I might do like a tiny bit of an investigation video just because um, I've seen some other people have the same issues I did with like unfulfilled boxes and then them just never responding <laughs> to them. Uh, I have emailed them. I'm gonna give them a little bit of time to respond and then I will email them again and then I will give them more time to respond and then we'll go from there. But right now I'm just, I'm collecting evidence for a little bit of an investigation. All right, we have several different things from Ipsy so I might as well go ahead and start digging into those. Ooh, spooky. Edible, this looks really familiar but maybe we just had another bag that looked kind of similar but with different prints on it. Oh, we do have something outside the bag itself. Just a little brush here. This is from Wing Me. I like the iridescent purple handle. I think that's nice. It's kind of nice and fluffy. This would make a really nice like, you know, highlight and brush or something. This is looking like a very um, a slender Ipsy bag. Like that's, that's, that's practically flat. So I'm assuming the items in here aren't too terribly large. A couple little squeezy tubes. Let's go ahead and get those out of the way. Huh. First little one here is from Beauty Stat, and I don't know if I've ever heard of like a anti-aging wrinkle cream described in this way, but it's a peptide wrinkle relaxing moisturizer. That's just a little bit different. It doesn't really say anything about relaxing on here. It says it lifts, firms, and smooths. My writing, interesting, a brand I have not heard of. And then we have the Tatcha, the Rice Wash, Soft Cream Cleanser. My mouth has been weird feeling. Soft Cream Cleanser. Following that, we have something bubble wrap. That's very exciting. This is from Context. And it's a matte bronzer in the shade Undisputed. Undisputed. Ooh, okay. Could be potentially a little bit too um, on the deep or like warm side for me, but my, my bronzer right now currently is not fantastic. So maybe I'll just, I'll just give this a go. And finally, the last little thing in here is this tiny cute little Fenty lipstick. That's pretty adorable. Definitely not a full-size lipstick. Let's see what the shade is. 
Ooh, a very pretty red. That is a super, super nice rich red. It's in the shade The MVP and it is a semi-matte lipstick. Ooh, I just, I'm really loving that shade. I think it's so nice. A little bit on like the bloody red side. I'm gonna give that a bit of a swatch. Every time I swatch what looks to be like a deep, rich, intense kind of bloody red, which is, if I'm gonna wear a red lip, what I prefer, it swatches fuchsia like nearly every time. <laughs> I just want it to be as dark as it is in the stick. It seems like with this one at least you definitely can build it up to be a bit more intense, a bit more dark, but it's still just not that like bloody look <laughs> that I would go for. All right, so that is the Ipsy bag for the month of October. We have a couple of boxes back here. I'm gonna assume these are our boxy charms. This little guy's just holding on by a thread. He's ready to pop. We got a thicker one. Ooh, and then a hefty one. Okay, this is exciting. I'm hoping because they all seem a little bit different, <laughs> at least on the outside, that the inside is gonna give us a bit of variety. It's supposed to. That's how I have my profile set up, but it, it barely does. Did I? I might have made selections for this month. I'm gonna have to set an alarm or something to remind myself to make choice selections. Sometimes you guys in the comments will like leave me a comment or even like message me on Instagram or something and tell me that choice selections are open for boxy charms or like the icon boxes and things. And that is very nice of you guys. Y'all have, have saved me a few times. And the lady dressed like a little, little key cat on the front. First thing I'm pulling out here is a, a pretty big tub. Like that's a, that's a nice size tub of the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. It is not for resale. Who is not allowed to resale it? So I'm wondering, is this sticker on here? Because it, right now it's just, it's covering a barcode. It's not doing a fantastic job either. It's very easily peelable, offable. But is the not for resale sticker supposed to be to like prevent people from, you know, selling this on eBay or something? Or is it to like prevent people from ripping this off, going into Sephora and being like, I'd like to return this even though they didn't actually buy it there and then getting, you know, money <laughs> for it. I think it's likely that second option there to prevent people from returning like full size products to Sephora for either money or a replacement. Oh, Seraphine Botanicals. I feel like we've received so many things from Seraphine Botanicals over the years. I remember getting, you know, uh, lip balms and different things like that, but not necessarily highlighters. Anywho, uh, this is in the shade Dynamite. It is a beaming highlighter. And I have a, a, a sneaky suspicion. I don't know why. There's a chance this might just be like a little bit smashed on the inside of here. But you know, I could be um, mistaken. Also not for resale. I don't think I've ever seen so many not for resale things stuck onto products. I don't think we have to be worried about that really and truthfully, honestly, ipsy. Uh, it is smushed with smithereens. I'll just go ahead and you know, dig around in there a little bit. Beaming probably isn't the first word that comes to mind uh, when I see this swatched on the hand. There's um a, a powdery a powdery substance on the back of my hand, that is true. I'm trying to get it to catch the light a little bit. There we go, right there. There's, there's a subtle glow. Beaming probably wouldn't be the adjective of choice for me, unfortunately, and uh, also unfortunately, it's very smushed. Following that, we have a rose lash, oh, it's a serum, a lash serum, okie dokie. I did personally stop using Grande Lash. It really it does work, it works really well. Uh, but I just kept seeing so many things about it potentially being just like dangerous for your eyes, and my eyes are already not good. So like, they don't need to get worse than they are. So I did stop using the lash serum, but you know what? Since I have been using the uh, cow fat, the um, the beef tallow to take off my makeup and like wash my face and that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it's been just like moisturizing my eyelashes and they've been growing in and so was my eyebrow, my patchy eyebrow. It's still not great, but like it's better than it was. But here's the rose lash. I, I don't know anything about this, so I don't know if this is something that could potentially be safe for the eyes. That would be, you know, up to your own discretion. But I, I personally probably won't be using it. Oh, okay, next up here. I don't think I picked anything for this box. <laughs> I don't think I did customization. That's the next thing we have here is a liquid blush from Tarte. And I just, I never wear liquid blushes, but this is interesting. It's a blush tape, uh, I guess like a play on their super famous popular shape tape. This is just in the shade pink. It's just a little squeezy tube. And then it looks like it has, you know, one of those kind of puff ball applicators on the end of it. So far, I don't know if these would have been like, you know, my top choices for any of these items. However, this looks really cute. This is the Eloise Goddess palette and I really like the packaging, those pretty puffy kind of like pink and purple clouds. I think that's very precious looking. Oh, that's, looking at that, I would never have anticipated 
that to be on the inside. Uh, the shades look beautiful, they really do. There's just something about like these deep, intense kind of rich blues and aquas and more like warm tone shades that just wasn't reading you know, pink puffy cloud goddess, but hey. Like I can't help but to stick my finger in these just shimmery shiny colors. Like I, immediately, I'm like a child at a birthday party who sees frosting on a cake. Just like, it's just cause they're so daggone sparkly. They're so shiny. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> The worst swatching place in the entire world. Oh, that silver shade is honestly really cool. So the blue one caught my eye immediately. I love a nice like shifting kind of duochrome, but this silver shade is really beautiful. It catches the light so nicely, very pigmented, kind of creamy smooth. I like that, that's real pretty. All right, so that's the first box. I definitely don't remember like taking any of this stuff. Not to say that it's necessarily bad stuff, it just might not be my first choice, but I do really like that palette. I think that's really pretty. Really quick, before we move on into the next box, I'd love to tell y'all about today's sponsor, Squarespace. As an entrepreneur and owner of three businesses, I have been working with and using Squarespace for years now, and I couldn't recommend the platform enough. Squarespace offers so many cool and useful features that allow either first-time website builders or seasoned pros to create a website that'll help you stand out and succeed online. Plus, it's honestly just really fun to make your own website. Squarespace is introduced as design intelligence that combines years of expertise with AI to help you unlock your full creative potential. Design intelligence empowers anyone to build a more beautiful, personalized, and unique website tailored to your individual needs that will allow you to create a bespoke digital identity. With Squarespace Blueprint AI, you can start a fully custom on-brand website with their latest AI-enhanced website builder. You just answer a few questions and their interactive design system transforms basic information about you and your business into an elevated online presence with curated, premium quality content automatically added and matched to your profile and aesthetic. And then if you're looking to sell online, Squarespace Payments makes it super easy to accept payments from customers. Getting started is really fast and simple, just a few clicks and you're ready to start receiving payments. Plus you can give your customers more ways to pay with popular payment methods like Klarna, Apple Pay, Afterpay, and Clearpay. And you can also super easily connect your social and multimedia accounts to extend your brand's footprint. So if you're looking for a way to create a unique online presence, boost your brand, or help run your business, Squarespace has you covered. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexandria Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you so incredibly much to Squarespace for your continued support of the channel. It really means the world to me. Let's go ahead and move on here to the one that's just bust and open. <laughs> Hopefully that means there's some really, really good stuff inside. So spooky, some similar items, you know, because that's, it is Ipsy, so I should have anticipated some similar items. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way. We have a, another Tarte blush tape in the shade pink. Uh, well, you know, I liked it the first time so much, so now I got two. Another good Eloise Goddess palette. Oh, okay, well there's only two repeats. That's not, that's not too shabby, to be fully honest. For Ipsy BoxyCharm, that's not too shabby. I think there have been a few times in these big unboxings where I've done <laughs> multiple Ipsies, and they've all um, been exactly the same. All three of them, precisely the same things. So like, this is honestly good. Two out of the five are repeats, that's, that's great. I'll take it. Green Glow Up Cream. Too vegan? Does that say too vegan or like to, to vegan? To, to vegan? That's that's not right. This is the Color Food Series Green Glow Up Cream. Now I gotta know if it's green on the inside. If it's green on the inside, I'll be more excited about it. You know, there, there's likely a good chance that they should give more information than what they do on the outside of this package. It just says green glow up cream, a toe vegan. And the, you know, that's about it. There's no um, instructions what it's supposed to do. I mean, I'm sure you can just like, you know, look it up, but it would be nice if there is just some more like, packaging or something, a little pamphlet, you know. Is it actually green? Oh, it's not as like, kind of swampy green as I was hoping for. It's a beautiful shade of green. Look at that, it's like sea glass. Oh, it's enticing. The texture is also really enticing. I just kind of want to like spoon around in there with my fingers. It smells really nice. I just have absolutely no idea what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I guess glow you up. How? I don't know. But I like the packaging. The color of the packaging is really nice and enticing. The color, the smell, the, the texture of the cream looks really enticing. So, I mean, that that's really good. I just wish I would knew more about it. I guess I do have the power of the internet at my fingertips, unfortunately. Sometimes that's just too much responsibility. Toe vegan, too vegan. That's all I can think is it has to be too vegan. You know, like it can't be like too, it's like too vegan. So maybe it's more like to the vegan, like hot here, here, to vegan kind of thing. See, it's an anti-wrinkle cream. It doesn't say anything about it being anti-wrinkle on this bottle here. It just says 
cream, green, green cream. So it has 100% natural green coloring, a serum formula blended to double up moisture without clogging pores. First step, lock in hydration. Second step, double coating moisturization. Are they rhyming on purpose? A lush creamy texture that glides on and leaves light primer-like effect on the skin. Oh, that sounds nice. Contains the original green color foods, like broccoli and stuff. What's in here? And it's supposed to help prevent wrinkles by increasing the production of collagen. Okay, all oh, that's very interesting. It doesn't say any of that on this little bottle. I feel like it's just for information purposes for consumers, you probably should just put more on your packaging. Why are your ingredients not listed on even your website? There are zero reviews. It looks like this website was started in 2024. Okay, I finally found the ingredients on some like random QVC type website. I have a lot, there, there's a lot of ingredients in here and you know what? It does have broccoli in it. <laughs> there's broccoli extract and okra. Okay, <laughs> well that's, that's very interesting. I just, well maybe I'm overlooking it, but for some reason on the To Vegan To Vegan website, I am, I'm not finding that list of ingredients anywhere and I could just be overlooking it, but I feel like they potentially need to be a little bit more uh, transparent about their stuff. Perhaps. Okay guys, sorry I've been going on about this two vegan stuff for a long time, but it's 4.40 a.m. right now and um, I'm like hyper fixated on this little tub of cream. So I went to the Ipsy website just to like look at it a bit more. It doesn't seem to have terrible reviews, but if you go to the one star reviews, you will see that there are um, a lot of people that are very highly upset with receiving this product. Most everybody in this little uh, review section here is saying that this is basically Basically just a tub of silicone, like slightly uh, scented silicone primer, pretty much. According to these other Ipsy members, they're not really enjoying the cream and they don't think it's very good. Basically a jar of silicone. According to some people, the marketing is deceptive. It's not actually a clean beauty product. I don't know. It seems like this is quite a controversial product. So if you guys have ever seen this before, or you've used it, or you know anything about it, let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about it? Next up here from Kevin Aquan. That's kind of fancy. Unforgettable lipstick. This is Thelmadora cream. Who's Thelmadora? <laughs> that's a very interesting name. Ooh, that's a pretty shade though. Oh, I really like that. Ooh, let's go ahead and swatch that. That's real pretty. I really like that. That seems like a nice, just neutral, subtle lip shade. I like that quite a bit. And then the last thing we have in here is from Tula Skincare. This is a 24-7 ultra hydration triple hydro complex day and night serum. That's fun looking. I would go swimming in this. Would I? <laughs> okay, that might change my mind about that. I don't know if y'all can see what this looks like. Oh, it looks kind of beautiful with a light shining through it. It's like a bunch of little clear orbies inside of a skincare bottle. At first I was like, that might be really fun to like try to swim through. But then also I remembered um, the, the feeling of anything touching me in the water sends me into like a panic mode. So maybe it wouldn't be quite fun to swim through, but it's beautiful to look at. I'm gonna get y'all some B-roll here of this orby looking serum. Isn't that just so pretty? The way it like glistens with the light coming through it. I think I think that's kind of beautiful. I have no idea if having it like orbiized in, <laughs> inside of this bottle does anything for the formulation, but they, they've won me over with the potential texture. I know that as soon as I like press the button and it sque squeezes out, there won't be any orbies left, but just like the idea of them, I enjoy. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was Ipsy number two. Some good things in there. I think I'm most excited about the lip color. I think that's really nice. And the bubbles, you know, little Orby bubbles. That got me good. Moving along here to Ipsy number three. Well, I get Boxy Charm number three. Wow, you know what? We only have two repeats in this box too. And that's, I'm honestly kind of impressed with the Ipsy. Maybe it's just the icon boxes where I basically get these same exact things. And the Ipsy's are still, sorry, Boxy Charms are still, uh, you know, more connected to my my original profiles that I set up, the ones that are a little bit different. So the only two repeats that we have, unfortunately one of them is the Lash Serum, which I'm not going to get use out of, but I also have another lipstick, also in Thelmadora. Okay, well Thelmadora, as a, a word and or a name, must just be something Kevin Aquan made up because if you type in Thelmadora into Google, that's the only thing that comes up. Next thing we have here is from Dr. B Lab. This is a foaming face cleanser and um... 
Yep, that's that's about it. Moving along here to the Dewy Skin by Ciate London Glass Glow Skin Tint. Oh, okay. It says it has brightening vitamin C, dragon fruit, and grapefruit extract, and also hyaluronic acid. This looks very familiar. So I think this might just be an extension of their like Dewy Skin line, because uh, we've definitely received something that looks super similar to this packaging before, and it was just a glass skin primer, I think. But this one actually appears to have like a, a color to it, a bit of a tint. Mine's in the shade. 020 and on the back here it's about to say tinted balm. Oh yeah, there's definitely actually quite a bit of tint to it. Hmm, interesting. It's a lot thicker than I anticipated it being. As soon as I started like moving it around, it almost felt a little um lotion-y or like sunscreen-y. But that actually like it looks pretty good. Like this is, I put it right here on the back of my hand. It blended in super seamlessly. That's that's a really good color match. And it feels really, really nice. And it's a little hard to see on camera, but it's smoothing out my pores a little bit and just kind of disguising imperfections. It doesn't really honestly look like there's much makeup on the back of my hand and it is glowy. This might be really nice. I might be super excited about this. <laughs> this chair. <laughs> Hopefully one of these boxes has some like WD-40 in it because it is loud. Oh, I'm actually really excited to try this on my whole face. <laughs> I've really not been wearing foundation much anymore. Uh, I've been wearing the Auric Glow Lust and it's just a, like a, a glowy kind of shimmery all over skin thing and then I just kind of spot conceal with some concealer but this just seems it seems nice and maybe four days when I want a little bit more coverage, I could use this. And then finally, last but not least, I saved this for last one because it's in bubble wrap and that makes me excited, but two, it looked kind of spooky. Okay, well maybe not too terribly spooky. I think there's like cute little butterflies or something on the box, but it has really cool writing on the front. It says, on your face contour and color trio adorada. A flawless bronzer, blush, and highlight trio that allows you to contour, strobe, and swirl and blend for an all over face glow. That sounds really nice. Oh, what a cute little package. Oh, that's so adorable. It looks like a little tattoo. That's super, super cute, like a traditional style tattoo. <laughs> Sometimes, like, the insides of things just don't match the packaging at all whatsoever, <laughs> and it just throws me off. Like, I was really anticipating to open this up and just see, like, a deep red intense blush. Like, this lady on the front here in the tattoo, that's a really, really intense red blush. So I thought I'd open this up and see something, you know, akin to, like, unicorn blood colored blush, but instead it's just, like, a pretty little pale pink blush with a very very white kind of icy looking highlight and then <laughs> a quite standard bronzer i don't know it just it just seems to be like a little bit of a disconnect but this one is just in this shade maybe they have different options different selections uh, that have different shades on the inside i mean the packaging is super cute very different i was just hoping maybe the inside was a little bit more unique with the the shades the colors and maybe like some cool um imprints or something into the product Alrighty, so that was everything for our final ipsy box i'm excited about this one mainly honestly because of this i think this looks really good on my hand i'm gonna do my best to show you all like what i'm seeing here without showing you all the garbage on the desk. You can literally barely tell that there's anything on my skin. There's just a nice glow of this section of my hands and it looks smoothed out. Whereas this side, you know, you can see more veining, more imperfections, more pores. This side is just a little bit more smooth and there's just a nice subtle glow. I think it's really pretty. Alrighty, let's go ahead and move on to the ephemeral box here. This thing's very heavy. <laughs> Just a little break from makeup boxes. I'm I'm hoping this box is from October. And I'm saying I'm hoping this one is from October is because I didn't label it and put it with the October pile. But I feel, <laughs> for some reason, I just have a feeling that it might potentially be from October or sometime recently. Oh, I'm covered in lipstick and didn't know it. Okay. Can I dig out a makeup wipe real fast? Makeup wipes, labeling boxes, who, who am I? Still somebody filming at midnight and who plans on editing this video tonight. Yo, that's, that's who I am. The same, the same person. All right, so this is the Sleepover Thera box. And I'm not seeing anywhere where it says what month it's from. Okay, well, this box is potentially from August not October. You know, at the beginning, they, they kind of sound the same, like August, 
October. So we could just quickly go through it anyway. Oh, interesting. Relax, sleep, aromatherapy, lavender, and Roman chamomile. 100% pure essential oils. Little patches, I guess, to help you, you, you relax at night and to sleep. Oh my goodness, is this entire box full of lavender stuff? I have to stay awake for like a while <laughs> so I can't get too sleepy. It does smell lavender in there though. Oh, a bath bomb sprayed by a cooler. Don't they make sinks and faucets and stuff? <laughs> they're, yeah, I do believe so. Uh, yeah, they're out here making lavender bath bombs and very pretty packaging. This is a lavender and vanilla bath bomb. Ooh, that actually smells really good. Mm, it's very strong, but it smells really nice. A nasal inhaler. I've been seeing these on the, the TikTok. They seem like something maybe you shouldn't do, I don't know. <laughs> it's very interesting. I've just seen a lot of videos of these little things. They're little sticks that you like put in your nose and then you, you know. I feel like usually the ones that I see are for like, maybe energy, <laughs> but this one's the opposite. It's for sleeping. It has lavender, lemongrass, grapefruit, and chamomile essential oils. And I, that's all it's in it. So <laughs> I guess you're basically just like, you know, uh, sucking in essential oils into your nose holes. We have a Nocturne Magnesium Sleep Oil. Nocturne. That's also a fun word. I like that word. Oh, that smells nice. Again, just lightly lavender-y, kind of like everything else in here. We have a Blue Hydrate Hydrating Glacial Moisturizing Eye Cream. Enriched Pure and Natural Canadian Glacial Oceanic Mineral Water. It's water from a glacier. Oh, that has such a nice, just like, lotion smell. Some some things just smell like pure lotion. That's what this smells like. Ooh, a lavender eye pillow. I think I'd actually really like this. So you can warm these things up and they're weighted. Um, I have little patches or they're little like eye masks that heat up when they like meet air. So I'll use- oh. <laughs> Is it just lavender in there? Organic flax seeds, organic lavender flowers. I'm thinking it's the flax seed. Yep, I'm thinking it's the organic flax that I'm smelling. It smells a little bit too much like the ground. The lavender definitely helps a little bit there, but there's there's, there's definitely, you can smell the flax. Um, <laughs> it's a very strong kind of greeny scent. But anywho, um, <laughs> little eye masks that I wear, I'll put them on, they get hot, but I also like shove my arm over them when I have headaches and stuff to like apply pressure. And this you heat up and you can lay over your eyes and it's weighted a little bit to give a bit of pressure to your eyes as well. Yeah, I think that could feel nice. I wish it smelled slightly better. And then the final thing in here is a cute little book. Ooh, I'm excited about this. I, I love me a journal. I love something that I can jot down a to-do list in. <laughs> every piece of paper, every notebook near me has a to-do list. Sometimes it's just two things. This one says, don't forget Stitch Fix, uh, because it's still in this room from the last time that we did a video with it and I forgot to return the stuff. And the second thing just says, MUGS, all caps, exclamation point. So I just love me a little journal to be able to chalk down things I need to do. Oh, this might not be a journal that my brain can handle. Oh my heavens, I'm stressed about. And there's only three lines? How I spent my time. I, I don't know. <laughs> put down the writing for me. Thoughts I need to clear to relax. There's not enough lines in this entire book. I mean, honestly, truly, this is very nice. It's a lot more thought provoking than just my random sheets of paper or notebooks lying around the house with scribbled to-do lists on them. <laughs> this will probably make me think about things a lot more, things that I could do better throughout the day and like what is actually good for me and what's not good for me. But I just can't imagine <laughs> filling this out. My anxiety riddled ADHD brain is like already nervous about this. This was like a test. I don't know, I, did, I didn't study. Let's go ahead and move on to this P. Louise box. This is the littlest that is to P. Louise box I think I've ever received. I'm very interested in seeing what's in here. I'm hoping it's good. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be a ton in it, but hopefully whatever it is is really nice. Don't mind me, babe. I'm just browsing. Oh, brow products. It's gonna be a lot of brow products, isn't it? Yup. <laughs> Top search, P. Louise brow products. Oh, it's a little, it's like a computer. Computer. Oh, I love it. First thing we have here is one of their little liquid blushes. They did the same type of packaging thing with their um, uh, eyeshadow primer. 
Uh, maybe they're doing this with their, their best sellers. This one says over 500,000 sold. That's a whole lot of little little blushes. I also didn't know that the uh, applicator was removable. That's really interesting. I guess it's nice so you could like take it off, wash it, that kind of stuff. Alrighty, <laughs> I think we might just have like, like a whole lot of brow pencils. These are all Get Your Fix three in one brow pencils. We have the shade Hazelnut Latte Espresso Mochaccino. That sounds good. Blonde Blend and then finally Gingerbread Latte. So you definitely probably wouldn't be able to use but potentially one of these little brow pencils in the shade espresso. This is a really big eyebrow pencil. Yeah, that looks like it potentially would be dark enough to go with my hair color. What's that second section? Unscrew me. Oh, well that's an interesting place to put your little spoolie. <laughs> Usually the spoolie is at the opposite end of the stick, but it's like in this weird little middle compartment. Oh my gosh, there's a brow gel on this side. That's really fun. Well, that's a cool little like multi-tool. I feel like Inspector Gadget. And then we also have a standalone brow gel here. May your coffee be as strong as your brow game. Oh, so brow -tiful. That one's a bit of a stretch. Uh, but yeah, we just have a little clear brow gel. And then the last thing we have here is I'm sure a little brow palette. Signature blend, silky smooth eyebrow palette. So yeah, something like this might honestly be nicer because like there's a whole range here of different eyebrows eyebrow shades, uh, different products, creams, and powders. It might be a little bit nicer to get this and potentially some other products that aren't six eyebrow pencils in different shades that you can't use. Uh, rather, you know, this instead of that. And then have some other items in there or something. Ooh, oh my heavens. That's a very heavy Allure Beauty Box. I'm, <laughs> I'm excited now. Alrighty, let's move on to the Allure Beauty Box. Sometimes we just get like, you know, little bitty skincare samples in this. So the heftiness of this is, is enticing to me. I mean, okay. <laughs> I, I think I am still seeing a whole bunch of skincare, but at least it's not that itty bitty. These little things are interesting. Uh, these are Olay Cleansing Melts. Water activated daily facial cleanser and they're like little tiny itty bitty pads. Just like little tiny squares of face cleaner. So you get 12 dissolving pads I guess in this little trial thing here. I feel like this is probably something this wouldn't be your everyday way of <laughs> washing your face. I can see people using this for very like specific reasons. Uh, traveling, hiking, backpacking, that kind of thing. These honestly would be a really nice thing uh, to donate. All right. Before I say anything, I have to go back to the Google. <sighs> Dang on it, Google. Dang on it. <laughs> this is what I do all day. I just Google stuff. I can't watch a TV show. I can't do nothing without Googling. I just need to know before I say anything because I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Perhaps that was just a rumor I heard already. So the next thing you have in here is from Melee. And I could have sworn I heard that there is some type of lawsuit that they're involved in. But according to Google, it says they're not in any current lawsuits. So that's good. I just know that people were claiming it caused hair loss, which is ironic because this entire brand, I, I think, is supposed to be to prevent hair loss, to help hair growth, to strengthen hair, that kind of thing. This is a rosemary mint clarifying sugar scalp scrub infused with biotin to encourage longer, healthier hair. And ooh, this sounds really nice. Aqua Balm Eye Gel, it has a cooling effect, visibly depuffs, it has caffeine in it and vitamin C, visibly reduces the appearance of dark circles and eye bags. Oh, it's tiny, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I talked earlier about some of the products potentially having like more packaging and information. This might be too much, just too much the opposite. Way. But that actually sounds really, really nice, especially the cooling effect. I really like that nice kind of cool feel under my eyes. Oh, I think this is the nice, like, big, chunky, heavy item that uh, was making the box so heavy. This is the Glow 2 O Dark Spot Toner. That is supposed to target dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, skin texture. It's formulated with 7% AHAs and witch hazel water. Can you put this around your eyes? I'm wondering. I'm looking for some. <laughs> I'm looking for something to um help brighten the skin like right here on the corner of my eyes. I think I have something potentially called a uh, tear stain. On both of my eyes I have like permanent dark lines like kind of coming out from them and I've been told recently that's from uh, crying a little bit too much sometimes. I, I get teary-eyed quite often. It doesn't take much. A video with a dog in it That'll probably, that'll do it. But I really, I would love to get rid of those dark little lines there. And I don't know how to do that. The last time I tried to Google it, like how to get rid of tear stains, it was talking about dogs and not humans. Then we have something from Florence by Mills. This is the Glow Yeah Tinted Lip Oil in the shade 
Tinted. <laughs> Is that really the shade name? I think it might be. It looks like it's probably just a very light pale pink shade. I'm sure that's lovely. And finally, the last thing I have in here is from Sicilian Light. This is a vegan squalane prickly pear in blood orange truffle complex to plump and illuminate and it's supposed to be a brightening serum. Oh, it's from Skin & Co. Sicilian Light. <laughs> not the brand name. I thought it was. It says Name of Love in Italy. I was like, oh, Sicilian Light. Italy. You make sense. Apparently that's not how you open it, but at least I can smell it now. Oh, it smells good. A very light scent, but it smells good. Alrighty folks, that was everything in the Allure Beauty Box. A lot of skincare stuff, mainly skincare stuff, uh, but at least it was a decent size. It is 1.05 in the morning and I am getting sleepy. You can hear it in my voice, that, that voice crack was right on the money. <laughs> that was really right on the money. There's not a chance that I'm saving the Look Fantastic box for last. So let's go ahead and get on into that so that's not what we end on. <laughs> See, like, the, the, if your box has to have this many instructions, maybe you should change your box. Like this little flap here is like, all right, so lift here. Then you pull that off and it's like nearly there. You gotta fold this part down. Oh my heavens, there's another instruction on the other side. Slide up to look fantastic. That's too many instructions to open a box. Especially when you go through all that to find like five squeezy tubes when you finally get it open. Squeezy tube number one, resurrection girl. is some sort of like lady who brings people back from the dead. A hydrating mask from Pi. Then we got some Olaplex number eight. The Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Is this the one that made me sticky? For like days, made my hair sticky. Couldn't get it out. Then we have a Project Lip Lip Buff Scrub and Smooth. Oh, I like this packaging. It's like fun little bright kind of orange traffic cone color. I think that's nice. Next up here from Elemis, we have a little squeeze tube of shower cream with frangipani and mono weave. Oh, oh, that smells excellent. Oh, and when they say shower cream, they like actually mean it. <laughs> I thought it was just like a different word for shower gel, like a fancier word for shower gel. No, it's like a creamy texture. It's like lotion for in the shower. Ooh, oh, but I really, I like that scent. It's like a florally type scent, but there's also this sugary kind of delectable, delicious kind of scent to it. What the heck? You're supposed to wash this off. It's not supposed to stay on your skin, but here we are. Oh, I like how that smells a lot. I wonder if that's expensive. Cause if I end up really liking this and like the scent lingers for a good amount of time, then I might have to get me some friggin' Japani shower cream. Oh, and then what would squeezy tubes of skincare be without something from Avant? And of course it's rose, because why wouldn't it be? Oh no, the sleepy time accents are coming out. So this is a rose papaya vitamin B5 Proline and yeah. Gentle Rose Beautifying Face Exfoliant. <laughs> and then finally, the last thing in here is a little glove, ultra soft reusable pads. Oh yeah, okay, those are, those are a little bit soft. They are a little bit soft. I feel like these could be nice for removing um, like the, yeah, the eye circles. The circles of makeup you put around your eyes. So after I use my beef towel stuff to take off my makeup and things, there's usually a pretty good ring of like um, gushy gray stuff all around my face. Uh, so I think these would be really nice to run under some warm water and help remove the gushy gray stuff. Ice cream media box. Okie dokie. So, um, <laughs> when I did my September unboxing like this that y'all never will see because it's, it's disappeared into the, the ether, I unboxed an ice cream media box and unfortunately it wasn't, it wasn't my favorite. So the September one was probably one of my least favorite ice cream beauty boxes that we've received. So I'm really hoping this one is good. I got a caution thing in here. The Amped Lip Challenge. <laughs> the Amped Lip Plumping Oil is intense. Tingling is a sign that the product is working and enhancing volume. <laughs> And they have like a whole little caution thing in here with a uh, flame and lips. So that's interesting. Oh nice, okay, the entire theme for their October box is for it's Pink October. That's really nice. Hey, okay, so we have something in here from Chantico Beauty. They have made some of the most like beautiful multi-chromes, dual chromes that I've ever seen. So I'm excited to swatch these. They're looking a little just kind of normal in the pan, but I'm hoping they surprise us once they're swatched. I'm gonna try that again. I, I swatched that on the shower cream hand. Maybe maybe that's that's the issue there. Perhaps these are intended to be a little bit different than their standard ones. I'm guessing they are because usually they, they make like the most pigmented, most beautiful multi-chromes and duochromes. And these are just a little bit different. These almost look a little bit like maybe they're intended to be more like a, a topper. Uh, there's not a lot of a pigmented base to them. They're basically just a little bit of like shimmers like a slightly shifting shimmer ah, we meet again zc we meet again glitter liquid eyeshadow okay that could be interesting oh 
That actually looks beautiful. Can you all see them glitter chunks in there? That's some nice big glitter, glitter chunks. <laughs> I'm hoping that actually swatches that pretty. Perhaps a different applicator might work a little bit better because I think I might have gotten like one speck of glitter out on that tiny little brush. I think this could be truly beautiful if I could get more of the glitter out at once. Again, if you're wanting to do like a light dispersed kind of glitter, you, you can get there. But I think if this was a really like nice kind of concentrated amount of this glitter product, on the skin, it would look beautiful. I just can't get it out. What even is this little thing? It's like one little stabby bit of silicone. It's not even a brush. This little guy, you can't apply it with this. You just can't. Um, if this was intended to be for like some type of glittery eyeliner, I could understand, but I don't think this, this would work as a glitter eyeliner. But if you can get your little like pile of it and then use <laughs> the little sponge applicator that came with the Chantico Beauty Duochromes, you can get a nice kind of pretty even look from it. Uh, I, I learned this trick from Simply Neological and then you're left with a really pretty, just when the light hits it, those little purpley glitters are so cute. They also kind of have a shift to them too, like a gold purple shift. I don't know, I think that's real pretty. And so we have something from Moon Slice Beauty. I think that's a really nice name, Moon Slice. It's just, it's fun to say. It feels good in the, on your mouth. Oh, it's a pretty fun little packaging. I like the curve squares, the square, the, <laughs> I like the, it's like I can't decide if it wants to be rounded or square. It's like an in-between and I like that. I like paint. It's a cute little stubby doe foot. It's kind of like chunky. Oh boy. That is a very, very pink liquid lipstick and it's um, intensely pigmented. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's pretty. It definitely goes with the pink theme. Um, I think it looks nice with the little glitters. Oh, what's this? I didn't even see that in there. Oh, it's the lip plumping thing that we just, we just read a whole warning about. I guess I should probably try it, right? This is from Indie Beat Cosmetics. It is the Amped Plumping Lips. I think there's little, maybe gold sparkles or something. There's a bit of it, like a cake scent to it. I don't know why I got out a mirror to put on clear lip gloss, but here we go. <laughs> it might give you a slight tingling sensation on the lips, but don't get it on your tongue. Oh my gosh. Well, the plumping action is happening. Let's go for the last item in here. This is the Beauty Moon Cosmetics Hope in Bloom eyeshadow palette. I think it's really nice that they're doing something and on our Breast Cancer Awareness Month, it would be really easy to do something like, you know, Halloween themed for October, but I really like that they're focusing on breast cancer awareness. <laughs> I have a hard time talking, like the, the saliva is <laughs> building up in my mouth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh no! This is very fun, but unfortunately one of them did, it almost doesn't look like it was broken. It kind of looks like it um, maybe cracked, like if it's a more wet formula, once it dried down, maybe it just dried out a little too much and it cracked. Oh look at these shades! They're so pink! That one looks beautiful! Man, it is so- Oopsies. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that over there. It looks real pretty though. Uh, the rest of these are beautiful. They're very intense. It's doing that thing where they're like, they're so pink that the camera's just, just not picking it up. Like how pink they are. Could you guys some swatches of these real fast? Are my, oh, they're plumping. Okay, I really quickly did some swatches, but I, I swear, I just don't think the camera's gonna do them justice. Again, uh, this Hope one, the one that fell out, is so pretty. I think I'm gonna have to try to like scavenge the remains, scoop them up and uh, shove them back into that pan because that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Yeah, okay, we can see the colors a lot better on the phone camera. I think the shimmers are gorgeous. That Hope shade is stunning. And this shade Clarity, that pink one in the middle there, that it's so beautiful. It's so pigmented. The matte shades, I think, struggled a little bit. They're a bit more powdery. They're a bit more patchy, but who even cares about those? Look at these. Those are so pretty. All right, folks, that brings us to the very last box in our little stack over here, the witch box. And as always, no offense to anyone about anything ever. I never intend to offend even the littlest bit in, in any way. Um, if I'm not 100% sure what something is, I'm very sorry. Uh, I just, I, I enjoy looking through these boxes. I think they're unique and different and I think they're real fun. And I feel like the October box will be extra like cool and spooky. So <laughs> let's see what's in here. First thing we have is a, oh, a spell for creativity. I could, I could use that. I could, I could use that. I love being creative, but sometimes it just, it doesn't go great. <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't go well. That's okay. A little bag of rocks. Black salt, like actual salt. Well, that's kind of cool. Could I like 
eat it. It looks like a tiny bag of gravel. May I just look one? Oh no, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is that sulfur? That's salt that tastes like rotten eggs. That's, ooh, heavens. Yep, that's, yep, 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 yep. Black salt is a kiln-fired rock salt with a sulfurous, pungent smell and taste. You're, maybe you're not supposed to eat that. What does black salt taste like? Egg-like odor and taste. Correct, absolutely correct. Are you, are you is it not for eating? <laughs> they sell it at Meyer. Like, I guess in the grocery section, it looks like it comes in just a little salt shaker that you're supposed to sprinkle onto things <laughs> if you want your, your food to taste a little extra eggy. Not a true salt. What's it made out of? Lower in sodium, yeah, I'm assuming because it's not apparently a true salt. It's a complex mineral compound with a rich sulfur content. Um, this stuff stinks until you cook it. Well, very interesting. You learn something new every day. That's, that's why this box is so like different and unique. You think I would have ever licked a random chunk of black salt from a little a baggie? If it, was, if it wasn't for this box, probably not. And then the rest of the little kit, oh, there's a compass. That's interesting. There's a little uh, tea light candle, a little thing of incense. Just an itty bitty little, uh, I'm guessing like tumbled crystal. It's a tiny little thing of lapis. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so they're supposed to like represent the different elements. So <laughs> the salt is the earth, the crystal is the water, the candle is the fire, and the incense cone is air. Oh, that's so interesting. Ooh, this little box is really pretty. Goddess wax seal. I'm really liking that like deep maroon color with the gold, that's very pretty. Oh, it's a wax seal kit. I should have I should have guessed that from the name on the box. Oh, pretty! That's a really nice little wax seal. I actually have a little set of like wax seal things. I was gonna use them for wedding invitations. But there's a little spoon that you melt the little wax guys in. That's that's really cute. Very handy. This is also a nice wax seal. It's heavy. It has a really pretty image on it. That's really nice. Oh, cute! Post-its! But like, in a, a very adorable way. <laughs> There's a little moon there in the center. Some pink clouds. Very, very nice. An inspirational herb blend of tea. That's lovely. Oh, another pretty stone. Black banded agate. Oh, yeah. Well, I can see they call it black banded. <laughs> it does have a nice little band running all the way around it. That's so shiny and pretty. Oh, what a lovely little image this time. It's got a cute little owl on it. This looks very like Harry Pottery to me with like, like the owl and the letter with the seal and the quill and stuff. It says, words have power, wield them wisely. That's good words to live by. Oh my gosh. I was just saying how cool I thought the little quill was it's this magical quill set oh oh my goodness this is so cute it's a feather it's an actual feather I'm assuming that's a real feather I don't know yeah it's a feather oh my gosh so it's a feather and there's like a little like leaf and then it's kind of this goldeny part of the pen there's little extra tips to it and then there's like the ink and everything this is so cool for our uh, office area we're going for more of like an old world kind of dark academia look in there. I mean, we have 0% of it decorated, but in here it's decorated and it's old world dark academia. And this would be just so cute setting out on the desk. Look at that, oh my goodness. I feel, I feel so fancy. I wanna learn how to write with it. So the little different tips have different tips and I guess it controls like the thickness or thinness of, you know, your, your writing. That is so much fun. <gasps> I love this. Oh, I mean, just wouldn't you just feel like the fanciest if you were like actually writing with a quill? <laughs> Maybe that's how I'll fill out my book like this. Suddenly I just had the urge to write out on like parchments. Do you know anything about the Chamber of Secrets? I think my husband's really gonna like this because it seems old and fancy and uh, cool. So, <laughs> so I'm excited to end on this feather. This is a good feather. We have opened a lot of things. I filmed for so much longer than I anticipated. I was like, I'm gonna do this in an hour. I'll wrap it up in an hour. It's been two, three. I don't, I don't know at this point. I do know it, it's 2 a.m. I'm fairly certain when I started talking to you guys it was like 11 p.m. so you can you can do the math on that one it's been a minute okie dokie so uh i'm gonna go <laughs> thank you guys so very much for watching uh this was a long video i'm sure with a lot of rambling involved and i was very sleepy at the end and i started off not in fantastic spirits and i'm so sorry about that thank you all for sticking around with me you guys are the absolute best and uh, i just hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and i'll see y'all next time bye